Malcolm? Ben. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, you're the poor sod who's got to keep this motley crew in order, eh? Right? Yeah, looks like it. The last thing we need is some jumped up fitter barking out the orders. Well, uh, you shouldn't have any problems. They're not a bad bunch. Where have you been? Been in the jets. Didn't John tell you? You walk around here like the big I am, as if you own the bloody place. Ben would never have come down on us like this, and we got more done on the shift anyhow. If you don't like it, you know what you can do! Bugger this. Re-notification of expenses irregularity. In July, Susan Dickinson had unauthorised expenses totalling £2,345.48. pence. Oh, well, I'll, I'll sort it then. Shall I speak directly with accounts and arrange to pay it back to them? Yeah, that would be great. Uh, I meant to ask you, Susan Dickinson, how did she manage to explain that expenses thing away? Expenses? Mm. Oh, yeah, it was just a mix-up. Because this has happened before, before you joined. In fact, we threatened to take the card off her. Do you know, I'd watch that one if I were you. Oh, you wanted to see me? Yes. Expenses again. Look, I know what you're going to say. I didn't clear the balance on the account this month, but I do have a bit of a problem. Yeah, well, so do I now. It seems to me that we should hold a disciplinary. The expenses is one thing. But she's also lied to me. Susan Dickinson, we've had another £1,500 that the company's had to pay for. All John Lewis expenses, for heaven's sake. Not again. Oh, Chris, we're going to have to sort this. No, oh, Aaron's still not here. He's meant to be setting the machine up. They're ringing around to see if somebody else will do it. Oh, well, is that it? Because I'll sort it. Do you know how? Of course I do. Every one of these sheets is wrong. Easy mistake, Russell. Will Linda set the machines? Linda? Yeah, to help out. She should have known better. It's not her job. Tell her to come and see me. Look, I know I got it wrong and I'm sorry. It's too late for that, Linda. You're suspended. What? Well, there you are. Look, sorry to be the bringer of bad news, but there's been an issue on the shop floor, some sort of fight between Frank and David. Oh, great. David, come on, sit down. You OK? Yeah, thanks. I'm just a bit shaken. Oh, listen, let's just forget about it. Hey, I don't want to cause a fuss. You're not Frank is like as well as I do. Yeah, exactly. He's done this before and put the fighters on people. We really ought to see if anyone on the shop floor saw anything. Trust me, no one is going to go on record against Frank, not with his record for violence. Look, that guy's a bleeding nutter. He started on me for no reason. I have to defend myself. You've right? been here before, Frank, haven't Look, we? Look, you haven't got any proof, OK? You are suspicious. The allegation is that when David didn't give you what you asked for, and what you were not entitled to ask for, he jumped over the counter and started scrapping. That's a bloody lie. Cheers, Jeff. I appreciate it. Yeah, my problems. You got nothing on your plate. So, uh, when's Luke up in court, then? Oh, Friday. That's all you need. The only trouble is, I've used up all my leave with everything that's been going on. Oh, well, I was all right until I learned that Jim had called in sick. Oh, uh, anything serious? No, I don't think so. Stomach bug or something. Cool. Yeah, he steps on Luke's in court today. In court? I'm going to have to... Uh, Suspend you pending an investigation. Do you understand that? You can't do that. My union rep isn't present. Now, this is your chance to uh, respond to these allegations, Jim. So, what have you got to say? Listen, you've got you... no evidence against him. I assume we can go now. 